go, I go, you stay, I stay, one song to sing. What up guys, back in the gym. Some more footage of our show workout. Today is uh, upper hypertrophy day. What's up guys? Uh, so here, dumbbell press, four sets, um, six to eight reps. Uh, chose, I chose to weight wisely. Because I haven't hit this for a while, but it felt pretty good. Yeah, we haven't hit dumbbell flat in a long time. Um, uh, of course, I have the hundreds because that's the heaviest that the it, that uh, dumbbells go at our goals, like I've told you guys before. So I just uh, to you know just work around that. I uh, just kept the rest rest time a little bit shorter. <laughs> Um, because usually the 120s probably would have been perfect for 6 to 8 rep range for the dumbbell press, but no 120s. So I did the 100s for 8 reps. And then we moved on to incline bench press, 3 sets. Um, six, I, 6 to 8 reps, right? I thought it was like 8 8 to 12 sets, or 12 reps. She... Let me double check. Yes, 8 to 12 reps. I should know this by now, but... I will know it after this full week for sure. Our tankster has a 45s on there. Which, I think that's a PR. He was uh, His bar speed on the 45s on each side on incline has not ever looked like that. He did get those reps in pretty easy. All right, I stuck with uh, 225 for the for all my sets. Actually, did I back down? Let me double check. As you guys know, we're only showing you guys one set of each movement because I don't want to have the videos long as hell. A lot of you guys complain about it being like 25 minutes, and uh, I don't. I don't blame you, but incline bench, yeah, 225, actually I went 225, 210, 205, and I got 8 reps, 9 reps, and then 7 reps of the 205. Alright, moved on to pec deck, 3 sets, 8 to 12 reps again. Felt pretty good, I really like the squeeze. not supposed to feel good it's supposed to hurt it's supposed to kill you <laughs> i posted something about um just uh on instagram regarding um just suffering during cutting if you guys aren't following me on instagram check it check me out the online coach at the online coach but the quote was the level of your suffering during a cut is not the best indicator of the success of your cut work hard but work smarter I don't know, I just, uh, I see a lot of the bros posting, you know, like their meals of just broccoli and tilapia and no, no carbs and just bragging about how much cardio they're doing, like five, you know, and they're like six weeks out just murdering themselves, just setting themselves up for, for failure. It doesn't have to be that way, guys. Um, there's, there's better ways, smarter ways. You don't have to drastically cut your calories just to lose some weight. Some people just drop their calories just to I don't know just to to be aggressive and being aggressive on your calorie deficit is not necessary right out right out of the gates if you're if the scale is moving you shouldn't be cutting calories or adding more cardio you know milk it but anyways pull-ups we did what was the rep range 8 to 12 8 to 12 and that was three sets I stuck with the 45 plate and I did two sets of 10 and then eight reps for the third set. You did body weight, right? Yeah, I did body weight. It felt pretty, 
good, but I was my grip was already starting to give out. But so if I went with weight, I probably would not hit the rep range. All right, machine rows. This is our favorite back machine. Three sets of eight to twelve again. And someone commented on on the first show video that we posted about you know why are you posting videos of uh, the workout content of your show workout and you're selling it. And I'm like, in my head, you know, I want to help you guys. I wasn't even gonna post the the program up. And charge, but I figured, why not? It will, get, it would, it will build value in the program, and uh, you know, I would pay to have the program set in, like, just all put together on on a PDF on a piece of paper, where I can bring it to the gym and follow it, or have it on my phone. It just the organization right there is just worth you know some money, and who wants to sit and watch my videos and write down the workout sets, the the sets and reps, and just be unorganized? I, I figured. You know, it's worth the money, and I'm not trying to keep any secrets from you guys. I'm not trying to make, I'm not going to become a billionaire off this program. I just figured I put it out there for a cheap price and help you guys out and just give the program value. You know what I mean? So that's why I still want to share our workouts. I, I still want to give you our input and, and uh, show you our progress and just share our journey with you guys. I want, I want to see everybody progress. As along with me and Tankster, we are a family. We are a team. Team online coach. Yes. So we moved on to overhead press. It asks for three sets, six to, six eight. to eight reps. And I did one no ninety five pounds. Yes. Yeah, so. I put this later in the program and I knew that it was going to be a it's going to take an effort to um do the OHP just because you're you're burnt out from the other compound movements and uh it, it's in the middle. So with the OHP by the time you get to this, you're not going to be able to exert as much strength as if you started fresh on the OHP. So Self, that's that's where the self-regulation has to come into play where you have to downplay your weight and know that you're not going to be full at your full potential with strength with OHP so minimize the weight that's why I stuck with the 45 just to be safe and I learned from that I probably could have threw on maybe 145 and hit the rep ranges that I am asking for so next time 145 and uh, yeah, baby steps. Just uh, you got You have to learn how to self-regulate your your workouts. Um, that's what this program is all about. You have rep ranges. You have freedom. If you want to hit triples one day, go ahead. If you want to hit, um, you know, five five rep sets, go ahead. Find your PR at that rep set. All right. So we moved on to dumbbell ladder raise. Three sets, eight to twelve reps. I stuck with, what's the weight on there? Um, 32 and a half. I hit three sets of 10. Felt good. By that time, I was getting a nasty pump, and uh, I was pretty excited. And then we moved on to dumbbell curls. So it asked for three sets, eight to 12 reps, I believe. Yeah. Right there, Tankster, I seen your form right there. You, your elbows are coming up a little bit too high. Um, guys, you want to keep your elbows as close as you can to your body without bringing it up too much. And then we moved on to tricep rope extensions. Once again, three sets, 8 to 12 reps. I was smoked by this, by this movement. This is the last movement of the day. But uh, my, my triceps just would not fire. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty, pretty tough, voluminous. Um, yeah, so my weight, look at the stack. Look at that monster stack. I think it was, <laughs> I did 60, 60, and then 50 for the last set. I did 10 reps of the 60, and then I only got 8 reps the second set, and then I dropped the weight down to 50, and I was able to hit 10 reps. 
Um, rest time was about two minutes in between sets. But that is a wrap, guys, for our Shoal Upper Hyper Day. Look out for... Um, what, what, do we, what do we have tomorrow? Uh, hyper... Lower. Lower day tomorrow. And then Saturday, we're going to figure out if we're going to do uh, the optional bodybuilding day. On the optional day, if we do... For me, I'm probably going to do um, calves and... Uh, Probably some hamstrings. That's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe if you have not already. Peace. Later. One song to see.